Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Today we are creating an HR resume screening AI agent, which basically takes in any resume which is being provided into the form submissions, into any of the portals. You can simply upload the resume to this AI agent or attach the webhook of whatever tool that you're using, whatever CRM that you're using to this exact workflow. And this flow will categorize the resume on the basis of whatever voting system you provided to and rank that particular candidate from one to 10 and upload all the data as to why it has ranked that particular person on a certain number with the number of votes, of course, onto a Google sheet so that later on you can simply filter that Google sheet and you can call directly the top notch submissions which have happened on your job applications. And let's see how this AI agent is built. Let's directly dive into it. So this is the entire HR resume screening agent that you can see right here. What this does, we'll go node by node into each of the nodes which we have put in in this entire flow. And yeah, we'll actually test some data out as well as to how the entire performance at the end of this would be and what kind of output it would look like. But the very first thing that you need to do is you need to create a database where all the job openings and all the final output of all the resumes that the agent would have scanned would be placed into. So this is the database, which is one, the HR resume screening. You can keep any name that you want. Keep all the positions that you want right here. Whichever positions are opened, you can keep it right here. And then recommended candidates, they will have these columns particularly, which is date, name, phone, city, email, job history, skill, summarize, vote, and consideration. So the moment that this entire AI automation runs, at the end of it, it will give a summary of what screening it has done based on the job history, skills, and the resume of the candidate, what vote it has given, and what is the consideration mark. Right, so we have trained this entire automation based on these kind of output itself. And yeah, so let's just go through individually all the notes, and later on we'll test out the entire flow as well. The very first thing is this on-form submission note. What you can do is you can put in any webhook or any CRM integration of your own choice that you're currently using as the trigger of this entire workflow. Just for the testing purposes, I've kept it as on form submission. If we scroll down, we'll see that the first field name is name, then email, then there's CV, which has the potential of accepting files as the input. And then there's job roles. You can keep n number of job roles here by just simply clicking on add field options and place more job roles right here. Then next what happens is, the moment that this flow starts or the trigger starts, the very first thing is the resume is uploaded onto the drive. You can connect your Google Drive right here. You can put in any file name and whatever drive, whatever folder you, that you want to put in, you can simply place it right here. Then once the CV is uploaded, the next thing which happens is this node, which is once again a native N10 node and it extracts data from PDF or any sort of format that it is receiving a file into. And yeah, the name that we want to keep once the file is exported is this, which is going to be the binary file. And in any time, the data is transferred in terms of binary when it comes down to files. So yeah, we have kept the name as CV. Then the next two nodes are going to be one, this personal data information extractor node. If you'll go here on the plus icon and you'll type in information extractor, this is where you will find this particular. Node. So create this node and place this as your JSON schema, put in the text input which is coming from the previous node into this personal data extractor and keep this as your JSON schema. The intent of this particular node is to fetch out the telephone, the city and the birth date of that candidate. Then next parallel to this information extractor is another information extractor which extracts the qualification of that particular person. Schema type we are keeping as from attribute description this time. And attributes that we need to fetch out is one educational qualification. Then, you know, you can describe what is the meaning or what is the string that we need to fill in inside this particular option, this particular attribute. Then there's job history. This is what you need to derive from the job history and skills is what you need to derive from the skills. And remember filling the description is very important because in information extractor node case, the description is actually the prompt that you're giving to that particular AI agent. And this is the system prompt. You are an expert extraction algorithm. Just copy paste this exact thing. It will work perfectly fine. So once the merge is completed, it will go to the summarization chain. Now this time it is a basic LLM chain. 
Okay, I'll show you. This is what you need to select and configure your LLM chain exactly like this. Data to summarize, it's gonna be this. Okay, use input node JSON. So summarize the JSON data which is coming into this node. Right, because the previous node was of course the merge node which has received both the information extractor nodes and the information from that. Right, keep the characters per chunk as 1000, chunk overlap as 200. And yeah, chunking strategy, that's perfectly fine. Keep it simple, works perfectly. This is more from not overloading or not making the AI agent hallucinate perspective. And summarization method that you need to keep is you keep it as map reduce. You can see it's saying summarize each document or chunk individually, then summarize those summaries as well. So it's like a overlapping thing. So what's happening is this is the individual summary prompt and this is the final prompt to combine everything. It's almost the same thing. Okay, you can keep it the same thing. The idea is if the information is too huge, then it divides it into smaller chunks and summarize all those individual prompts first and then combines everything and then summarizes it into a final prompt. So you can see the prompt looks exactly the same. And here you can see as well. So if the characters per chunk is around 1000, the chunk overlap would be on 200. So every 200 it is going for this individual summary prompt and then five times it's repeating and then combining all those summaries and then creating one final prompt to combine it with. Right, and using this final prompt to combine it with, it is creating one final summary. So the moment that that is done, next thing that we are going to do is going to extract the job roles that we have put in and the JD that we have placed right here. I would request you to place a detailed in-depth JD, whatever you are placing in your job portal you place it right here because all that information is gonna be acting like a system prompt for your next AI agent which is this HR expert. So we are simply performing the get rows in sheet action with this exact thing. Whatever filter that we need to keep it's gonna be on the position column and the value of that is gonna come through the form submission that we are doing on the very first note. Now here of course you can keep in any value from your webhook payload or your CRM integration whatever you want. But yeah, for the example, I've kept it like this. So the next node is going to be the HR expert node, which is again going to be a basic LLM chain node. And this is the user prompt that you need to provide it. This is going to be one, the profile details, or of course the job details, which we have created, which we are extracting from this particular node. And then the candidate information, which is coming from the summarization chain. This is going to be the user prompt. And for the system prompt, you can simply keep it like this that you are an HR expert, need to assess the candidate, then you must give it a score. One means the candidate is not aligned at all. And 10 means that they are the ideal candidate uh, because they perfectly match their desired profile. So this is what you need to create inside the HR expert basic LLM chain. And remember to turn this on, which is require specific output format because we need to give it a structured output parser which will create the output exactly like this. It will create one vote schema which will have a string inside it and then it will create one consideration schema which is this. Which is going to be of course the reason of why the HR expert is choosing it and then vote is going to be that number part. So yeah, the moment that this is done, we have simply created one final Google Sheet node where we are manually mapping each and every column from this particular sheet right here in the init end and we are manually mapping each and every information right here. And this is going to be the completion of your entire flow. And the moment that this flow is completed, you will have a perfectly screened candidate and you would get the power to decide whether or not you should further proceed with them into the interview rounds, hiring, whatever you want. So now let's test this entire flow out. The very first thing that we need to do is of course, submit our information and we are going to click on this execute workflow and our testing form will open up. Let me put in my name my email address, my job role as sales and my CV right here. Then let me click on submit and there you go. The form is submitted. Let's go to our flow and yeah, it started running. So the first thing is it went to the drive. It has saved my resume onto that drive folder. And the next thing which happened is it extracted the file from PDF into the binary format and it has provided that data to this information extractor, which is personal data information extractor node. It has already extracted my information. And now this qualifications node is running, which would try to fetch out my skill level, my expertise, all the qualifications that I have uploaded on my resume. It would try to fetch out all of that. Now this summarization chain node is running and it's kind of summarizing all the information. And now it goes to this get rows in sheet. It has derived out the position and the JD out of it. 
and now it's going to the hr expert basic llm chain which is once again running executing right now and the moment that we get this information out of the hr expert it would go to this google sheet note and we would have all the data right here you can see that there's no data yet right here because this automation is yet to be finished but yeah let's just wait and look forward to how the output looks like that's it the hr expert basic llm chain has also run and performed its job now let's see what kind of output did we get on our google sheet yep output is completed from here is it visible right here it is what an amazing hr resume screening agent it is so we have the date we have the name of that particular person just from the resume we haven't even opened up the resume that is the phone number which is then the next city the hometown email address again very correct job history if you double click you can see that currently founder of visit marketing providing meta ads google ads this was my older resume right so it has extracted all the information from there previously they have worked with performance marketing executive in beyond before that as a social media marketer with knowledge gate before that as a sales associate before that as a branding yeah i've done quite a lot <laughs> so that was the job history you can see that without even opening the resume i know a lot about the candidate now skills it has summarized all the skills that the person has summary it's more about the details of what that particular person has in his potential what kind of work has he done then vote is there based on the sales skill i have received a vote eight that's quite good okay perfect and consideration is of course the ai agent's assessment of why we should consider this particular person and you can see that the score is eight instead of a perfect 10 because their primary expertise is marketing driven revenue generation than a traditional direct sales now remember the role was of sales and the ai agent was so smart that it got the exact data out of the resume and it figured out that okay even though he has business experience you can see that they have significant real world business experience right they they are a pretty strong fit but of course they are we are rating them as an 8 instead of a perfect 10 because their major expertise lies in marketing driven revenue rather than sales so yeah, so what an amazing ai agent this entire workflow is just imagine this particular workflow being applied for your company and how smooth your hiring would become after this so if you want to reach out to me in order to help you build this entire workflow you can find a call booking link right below please mention your company name your employee size why are you looking for this particular hr agent and this is just the surface level of it this is one element of the entire infrastructure which i can create for you this is just a resume screening and on top of this what we can also do is all the folks who have been rated above let's say 6 or 7 we can create a voice agent which is calling those particular candidates and qualifying them as well because sometimes people lie a lot in their resume so voice agent screening would make it much better much efficient and much more accurate than just this case. so it's going to be a add on on top of this entire workflow So yeah, if you want me to help you create this entire HR system of AI agents, then you can simply book a call with me down below, or you can reach out to me via Instagram, via LinkedIn. I am active everywhere. Feel free to reach out to me. Do share your company's details, your employee size, what is the aim with this AI agent, and we can customize it all for you. So like, share, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. But please make sure to leave a comment as to how you like this entire video, and if you have any further questions that you want me to help you out. please leave those in the comment and yeah please share this if you create this entire workflow please don't forget to tag me on instagram on linkedin wherever you want i would love to see that i am able to add value to all of you guys that was it from my side thank you and i'll meet you in the next video